Hello, everyone. My name is John Sconza. I'm the Automotive Sales Engineer for Active In Solutions, and I am going to be your host today for today's presentation. Uh, for, so what we're going to do here is um, give you an overview of the WebDocs program. And during the slide presentation, I will go through slides that will give you a good understanding of how the WebDocs program works as well as how it would connect up to your solution. So let's go ahead and begin by describing what the WebDocs program is. What WebDocs is, it's an electronic file cabinet that's going to store all of the signed and printed invoices that come off of your system, as well as the credit memos and statements. Now, once they're there on, the system, on our WebDocs server, uh, you will have the ability for all of your employees to go in and access those documents as well as uh, having the ability for your customers to go in and, and view those documents as well. They will be stored in a PDF type format, so once you are reviewed, your customers and your staff will be able to print it or attach it to an email for uh, sending it off to the customer. The way that this thing works is we connect the WebDocs solution to your platform. Now, over to the left, we have a slide with three panels. Over to the left would be the solution that you're working from. When you print out an invoice, a copy of that goes to the invoice printer, but at the same time, an electronic copy is sent to the data storage facility and electronically stored. Later on, if you have some kind of modified document, whether it's a handwritten credit memo or a signed invoice, we're able to take those documents as well, put them onto a scanner, and when they're scanned, that scanned document will also go and marry or link to the electronic copy that was already uh, at the data center. Now, once all those forms or documents are in the data center, you over to the right, you can see where either yourself, your employees will have access to that, as well as any of the customers that you want to have access to that through some kind of a web browser. Now, once um, those documents are there, you will have a link or a ULR that you can click on. And when that comes up, there's a unique place where your customers or your staff would put in their login and password. Now, what's unique about this is that each one of the customers will have their own folder. So as you produce documents off of your system, those invoices and credit memos will only go to that customer's folder. If I'm a customer, of yours, and I log in here, that unique login and password of mine is going to bring me only to my folder, and I can only see the documents that are mine. If you're one of the business employees, then you have a different login and link that will allow you to see all of the folders and all the documents for all of your customers. So let's go ahead and pretend we've logged in, and once we do log in, you will have a search engine. Now, this search engine is very simplified that allows you to search by customer number, customer name. You can search by a date range, or you can search by a document number. So if you have a particular invoice number you're looking for, you can type that in there, and it'll bring just that invoice up. If you have a date range of invoices you want to see, you can do that. So let's go ahead and, and, and move to the next slide, which is going to show the results after I go ahead and put a search in for a particular customer. So in this case, it's going to bring up all of the documents for, in, uh, in this case, invoices, uh, you will see from the left to the right we have columns. Now, depending on what I'm looking for, I would click on that column, and now it's going to go back out to my server and bring back the documents that I'm looking for. In this case, if we're looking for this Acme Auto Body Invoice, I would click on that little magnifying glass, and what it does is it goes back to our data center and retrieves the documents that are related to that link. Now, in this case, it is an invoice. I show on the screen both the printed copy as well as the copy that I scanned in and linked it. Now, a couple of things about these documents that are uh, stored. We do put them on a template. It's called a cold template, which does have all the lines, and when it's reprinted, it looks identical to the original that you printed earlier off of your invoice printer. So in other words, when your customer is viewing this, it looks identical to the one that was handed out to them with the delivery of the merchandise. 
The other documents that are stored are statements. When you rake your statement run off your system, a copy is immediately sent over to the data center. Now, initially, this was uh, done so that your customers could have a place they can go and retrieve a copy of their statement had they possibly lost it. But what we found was customers who are using this properly decided that since the statements are there, they were going to use that as a way to eliminate the need to print their statements any longer. Just like you do now, if you're you know, up to date on your banking or receiving your bills, here is an email that I received from one of my suppliers, my cable company, that they send me every month that shows a link that I can go and click on it and retrieve a copy of my statement or my bill. So a similar type thing would be done with your customers. You would have an, in, an email that could be built with a distribution list of all your customers that are receiving their statements electronically. And then once the statement run has been made off of your main system, this email would be broadcast out to all your customers. So if I was your customer and I walked in on the day after you did your statements, I'd see this email. And just like I do now when I receive my bills for cable or Internet, I click on my link, review my bill. If I want a copy of it hard to expense or for my records, I can print it out. And then I jump on over to my bank and uh, arrange payment for that, that statement. Another thing that our customers use WebDocs for is they typically will have drivers that will go out and collect uh, either return cores or faulty merchandise. In this case, I'm showing a handwritten ticket for dumpsters that the driver brought back. It looks like about seven items. So here's what we normally would do with that. They would take this, this handwritten document and go to the main system and generate an invoice. They are numbered. In this case, I have a document number of 25264. So when I go to my main system, I'll generate an invoice. In a reference field, I'll type in the 25264. And now if I'm your customer and I'm sitting there at the end of the day, I don't have to wonder whether I've got credit for the merchandise that was sent back earlier that day. I, I can go onto the Internet, go to my folder, and look at my credit memos, and sure enough, I've got my handwritten ticket. It shows both that as well as the generated invoice showing that I'm getting credit for this return of $85.82. So just to kind of wrap this up and net it out, this is a program that we put together for our customers so that you can reduce your administrative costs for whether it's filing, at the end of the day, all the invoices that you have, put them into your customers' folders. If you're having customers call and asking you to retrieve that instead of having to go to a file cabinet, look for it, copy it, send it out. These are some of the ways that you can reduce your administrative costs. But we've also found that customers who embrace this are also using this as a way to go to their customers and show that you are progressive as far as being a green company, reducing paper waste, whether it's in, the net, in re reprinting or in printing statements or, in some cases, multiple copies of invoices. You're also providing some uh, better customer service for allowing your customers to get to this access uh, data center 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You do have a much more professional image, shows that your business is more current and that you're keeping up with all your competitors as far as having customer service and access to their documents. This does reside in our data center. It is secure. We back it up on a regular basis. Uh, we also found by doing that, a lot of the customers who have moved to this WebDocs program have eliminated their own document storage. So now in the event of anybody that does need uh, to have a government entity, whether they're being audited or their accountant wants to see documents, they can give them a link and a login. That's the only unique to them and they can look at all the documents that were produced uh, from the day you hooked this up to your system. So with that, we'll go ahead and conclude this overview. Uh, and uh, if you need more information, you can call the 800 number that is on the screen, or go ahead and send us an email to the marketing link. Thank you for your time. And this is John Sconza again. Appreciate you uh, viewing my webinar.